Hey everyone, in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to superimpose an image using GIMP. Um, this is GIMP version 2.10.22. So to begin, let's click File, Open, and now we're going to select the image we want to use as the background image. Um, so I'm going to use this one as an example, select it and then click Open. And then we're going to do the same thing again with the, for the image that we want to place on top of this one. So we'll go to File, Open, and I'm going to use this one as the example and click open. Then you might get this convert to uh, RGB workspace. Uh, just click convert and the image should pop up. Uh, once that's open, we want to click on the background image um, of the active tool using this uh, the fuzzy select tool. So click on that and then click on the background of it. And then uh, with that selected, we're going to so click select um, and then invert the image. Now we have to copy that, so click, you can either do on your keyboard control C or click edit and copy. Now with that copied, we're going to go back to the first image that we uh, opened up. So just click on it up here. Um, now we have to paste it in, so we'll go to edit. Now we're going to paste it as a layer, so go down to edit, paste as, and then paste as new layer. So now that the image is copied on top of the background, just click um, to move it around and size it the way you want. Uh, go up here to uh, the scale tool and right click it and then select uh, scale. This will give you the option to click on the image, you could drag it, make it larger or smaller, um, or you can click in the center here and move it around. So I'm going to place it right about here. And then to scale it to size, you could just either click whatever corner you want, make it wider, taller, shorter. Um, it's just maybe like that, like that. And then um, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, to export, just click File, and then Export As, and then just select the location you want and the name of the file, and then click Export. Um, I already have that. So let's just try it to test, export, and then you'll get this export as a JPEG. Um, and let's click export again. And that is it, everyone. Uh, hope this was helpful. Um, feel free to, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section. I'll be glad to help. Thanks.